have never been the platonic ideal of breasts, turned awry and dappled like a cow's nose or a pair of lonesome spaniel's ears. At their best, they are great and flappy, easily strapped down with gaffer tape if I'm feeling the lure of leather. At their worst, they hang like deflated Christmas baubles, hung at a second-rate fate, sluggish and ponderous, longing to reach my knees. <laughs> Nevertheless, they are my old friends, and we have been very fond for the past few years. As a teen, I caged them in a stricture more pad than tit, coop them up in clasps and wires and cottons. They begged to be freed. I got a mole on my right breast and the doctor cut it off in February. He said the discoloration was hinting. The underside from the cut is puffy and it gets red whenever I am over hot or embarrassed. Together we felt every tear and every stitch. You looked so strange floating in the doctor's jar of yellow oil. My breast still misses you. These days I sleep flat on my back. I don't like to compromise. Thank you. Mm -hmm.